Welcome to the homework for lesson 13. This is module 3 of grade 1. And there, here's where you write your name. Use the graph to answer the questions. Fill in the blank and write a number sentence. Here's our key. The smiley face is one student. We can look at this and see hot lunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven students. I'm just going to write this down here. It might help you to do the same thing, but you don't have to. Sandwiches. One, two, three, four, five, six sandwiches. And salads look like the least. One, two, three, there's four of those. How many more hot lunch orders were there than sandwich orders? So just look at the just look at the smiley faces how many more hot lunches than sandwiches and if you kind of look at the graph you don't have to count everything and look at it you can see that here they're about the same and then there's just one more hot lunch there were one more hot lunch orders and it says here we want to also write a number sentence so you can look at it until there's just one but when we're trying to figure out how many more or how many fewer or how many less or like anything that's comparing like that, you're, we're going to be trying to find the difference between two numbers. And so that's going to be, we're going to be subtracting. So that would be seven minus six equals, and we already know it equals one because we counted it. How many fewer, so here's another one where we're going to be comparing two numbers. How many fewer salad orders were there than hot lunch orders? So salad is less than hot lunch, right? Salad is less than hot lunch, but so there's less of them, but how many fewer, how many less, how many less? Well, if they were the same, we would be here. So hot lunch has more. If hot lunch has more, then salad has less. How many less? one two three less so there are three fewer salad orders and you can say there's three more hot lunch orders but it's asking for how many fewer salads so and that's uh, those are the numbers we're looking at to add or subtract for our number sentence seven and four and we can't write four uh, minus seven so we're going to write seven minus four Three. And if five more students order hot lunch, how many hot lunch orders will there be? So if a hot lunch, if I was going to add five more onto here, one, two, three, four, five. Now you don't have to draw those, but the idea is that there's already seven. And if there's going to be five more, seven plus five more, how much is that? Seven plus five is twelve. So there'll be 12 hot lunch orders. And you could, if you drew them on there, you can just count them. Use the table to answer the questions. Fill in the blanks and write a number sentence. So let's see. Favorite type of book. And each group of five tally marks is five students. So we're gonna, that also means that each single tally mark is going to be one student. So this is fairy tales. We have five, ten, and then one more is eleven. And then science books, five, six, seven, eight. Eight uh, students have their favorite type of book is a science book. Poetry books, one, five, ten, fifteen. If you can count by fives, that's what makes this using those five groups and tally marks really easy because you can count by fives. Otherwise, you can look at this as five plus five, and that's a 10 plus five more. 10 and five is 15. I want to clean all this up now. All right. How many more students like fairy tales than science books? So we're talking about fairy tales here science books here how many more like fairy tales fairy tales is more 
So what's the difference between those two? So our number sentence is going to be 11 minus 8. And you could count the difference and just count the ones in fairy tales that aren't there for science books. So that there would be this guy here and that one there and this slash mark here. That's three more. You could do it that way and find out the difference. Or you could just count up from 8 to 11 to figure out that it's 3. How many fewer students like science books than poetry books? So now this is a how many fewer question. So science books has eight, right? Science books had eight favorites and poetry books had 15. So science books is fewer. How many fewer? Well, that's the difference between 15 and eight, which is 15 minus eight. And you can count that up. Those are close enough that you could count those up. But you could also look at this as a take from 10 solution too, right? Because 15, that's going to be 10 and the 5. 10 minus 8 is going to leave 2 behind and then add the 2 and the 5 back together for 7. 7 fewer students like science books. And you could count it up from 8 to 15, which would be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, that's seven numbers. How many students picked fairy tales or science books in all? So that means we're just going to count fairy tales and science books together. You can just count all the tally marks, but you can see our number sentence is going to be 11 plus 8. So we're going to take all of the fairy tales 11 and all of the favorites for science books which is eight more that's 11 plus eight and if you count them all that comes to 19 or you might think of this this eight plus one right think of this 11 is 10 and one and then this eight plus one is nine 10 and 9 19 19 students picked fairy tales or science books. How many more students would need to pick science books to have the same number of books as fairy tales? So we're talking about science books and fairy tales. So that's science books and fairy tales. So how many more I mean, it's really easy to figure out because you, all you have to do is add tally marks to see what you need to make it the same as fairy tales. So I need this one here, and I need that one there, and I need that one there. That would make it the same. That's three more. So we started with eight. We'd have to add three more, and we'd have, and that would equal 11. You could write it as addition, which would be starting with eight plus three equals 11, or you could think of it as subtraction. The difference between 11 and 8, so it would be 11 minus 8. Either one of those would work. I like the subtraction one a little bit better. It kind of goes with the, kind of, if you think left to right, then we're looking at our answer here on the right end usually, and we're looking for three more students would need to pick science books. But this one, really, it doesn't matter. Either one works fine. Because this one makes just as much sense with the story, I think. The addition one, starting with 8 and 8, you need to add 3 more. I think they both work. You don't need both of them, but if you want to show off, you can use both. If 5 more students show up late, and all of them pick fairy tales, will this be the most popular book? So what if there were 5 more students and they all picked fairy tales? What would happen? Five more students picked fairy tales. Then we would have one, two, three, four, five. So then we would have five, ten, fifteen. This would be sixteen, wouldn't it? 
And the question is, will this be the most popular book? Well, it would be one more than the poetry books, right? So it would be, it would be the most popular. And it says, use a number sentence to show your answer. So what we did was we started with the 11 and we added five more tally marks and we ended up with 16. So it's going to be 11 plus five equals 16. So 11 plus the five more equals 16. Fairy tales would be the most popular the sixteen. votes. Well,